Hello, and welcome to chapter 11 of James and the Giant Peach. Let's see who he has run into in the pit of the peach. Enjoy. Chapter 11. James's large, frightened eyes traveled slowly around the room. The creatures, some sitting on chairs, others reclining on a sofa, were all watching him intently. Creatures? Or were they insects? An insect is usually something rather small, is it not? A grasshopper, for example, is an insect. So what would you call it if you saw a grasshopper as large as a dog? As large as a large dog? You could hardly call that an insect, could you? There was an old green grasshopper as large as a large dog, sitting on a stool, directly across the room from James now. And next to the old green grasshopper, there was an enormous spider. And next to the spider, there was a giant ladybug with nine black spots on her scarlet shell. Each of these three was squatting upon a magnificent chair. On a sofa nearby, Reclining comfortably in curled up positions, there was a centipede and an earthworm. On the floor over in the far corner, there was something thick and white that looked as though it might be a silkworm, but it was sleeping soundly and nobody was paying any attention to it. Every one of these creatures was at least as big as James himself and in the strange greenish light that shone down from somewhere in the ceiling, they were absolutely terrifying to behold. I'm hungry, the spider announced suddenly, staring hard at James. I'm famished, the old green grasshopper said. So am I, the ladybug cried. The centipede sat up a little straighter on the sofa. Everyone's famished, he said. We need food. Four pairs of round, black, glassy eyes were all fixed upon James. The centipede made a wriggling movement with his body as though he were about to glide off the sofa, but he didn't. There was a long pause and a long silence. The spider, who happened to be a female spider, opened her mouth and ran a long black tongue delicately over her lips. Aren't you hungry? She asked suddenly, leaning forward and addressing herself to James. Poor James backed up against the far wall, shivering with fright and much too terrified to answer. What's the matter with you? the old green grasshopper asked. You look positively ill. He looks as though he's gonna faint any second, the centipede said. Oh my goodness, the poor thing, the ladybug cried. I do believe he thinks it's him that we are wanting to eat. There was a roar of laughter from all sides. Oh dear, oh dear, they said. What an awful thought. You mustn't be frightened the ladybug said kindly. We wouldn't dream of hurting you. You're one of us now. Didn't you know that? You're one of the crew. We're all on the same boat. We've been waiting for you all day long, the old green grasshopper said. We thought you were never going to turn up. I'm so glad you made it. So cheer up, my boy. Cheer up, the centipede said. And meanwhile, I'd wish you'd come over here and give me a hand with these boots. It takes me hours to get them off all by myself. So, what do you think? Would you be frightened of person-sized insects sitting and talking to you? Or would you think that was exciting and cool? It doesn't seem like they want to hurt James, does it? And they said as much when they were talking to him. Sometimes appearances are different from what a person actually is like. So we can't judge them based on how they look. 
we try and judge them based on how they act. And these bugs all seem very friendly to James. Hopefully you enjoyed this chapter, and I appreciate you listening. I look forward to reading the next chapter for you. Take care.